<sighs> I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one, aren't I? Superhero movies are probably the highest earning genre of film right now, and it's been that way for the past 15 years. Characters like Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, those weird people, and a whole slew of other characters have now been depicted on the big screen, with varying levels of quality. And there are a lot of things I've enjoyed about this genre, from masterpieces like Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, to Iron Man, The Avengers, and a bunch of other genuinely entertaining movies that I would put as some of my favorites. But the title of this video isn't why I like superhero movies, it's the problems with superhero movies. And there are quite a few of these problems that I've been noticing in the genre, so I'd like to take a moment to address them in this video, explain why I have these gripes, and how they can be fixed. The first issue I have lies in the manufacturing of these movies, and how quickly and predictably they are churned out. This problem mostly lies with Marvel, who seemingly churns out a new superhero movie every year of the same exact bland quality. Movies like Captain America, Thor, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, and Spider-Man Homecoming are essentially all of the same quality and feel. They're all kind of goofy, with some serious action and most of the same basic plot points that tell the basic origin of a character. My problem isn't that they're bad movies, because they're all fine movies, a solid 6 out of 10. They're just all so cookie cutter and predictable that it becomes repetitive and boring for me. None of them are transformative or meaningful, they don't deliver a message of any kind, it's just the story of some guy who becomes a superhero with no real wiggle room for improvement, and no risk taking. I'm not demanding that Marvel Studios creates a Christopher Nolan movie with every origin story, because let's be honest, are you really going to make a masterpiece out of some guy who shrinks down to be really small and works at Baskin Robbins? No, you're not. But it would be nice to shake things up a bit, and tell a different kind of story. The initial catalyst for me making this video was seeing Spider-Man Homecoming, which was overall a pretty good movie. It was the best portrayal of Spider-Man, the acting was good, the villain was interesting and had an understandable motive, and it was an all-around acceptable movie. But I left the theater feeling kind of empty. It took me a few days to realize it, but I felt this way because it was just another Marvel movie. It was fine. Nothing more and nothing less. Another problem I have with these films is that they're essentially just a two-hour advertisement to set up a future movie. While Marvel does have this problem with movies like Avengers, Age of Ultron, and Captain America, Civil War, DC has the worst problem, with one movie that exemplifies this problem the most. As a movie, Batman v Superman is a train wreck of a film. The plot is all over the place, the character motivations are retarded, Lex Luthor is too ridiculous to take seriously, along a whole slew of other problems. But the biggest problem is how they essentially use this movie just to set up Justice League and Wonder Woman. There's this scene at the end of the movie when Wonder Woman receives an email from Batman explaining how he's making a team of superheroes with clips of each of the recruits like Flash and Aquaman, and this one scene ruined the entire movie for me. Before I had at least a scrap of hope, but this destroyed that hope and stomped it through the shower drain. This is so obviously here just to set up the upcoming Justice League movie, and it's so lazily shoehorned in, as if they finished the movie, realized they had to make another, and so they added in that little scene in post just to have it there. And DC doesn't even deny it. The title of the movie is Dawn of Justice. DC, get your act together and stop acting like f The final issue isn't really with the movies themselves, it's more about the people who mindlessly defend them on the basis that they involve superheroes. I talked a bit about this in my fan bases video, which I recommend you go watch, but there's a few more things I'd like to touch on. Just because a movie is about a superhero does not mean that it is good or should be taken seriously. There are people I've talked to who seem to think that all of the Marvel movies are masterpieces, but when I ask them why, they simply respond by saying something along the lines of, It's about Spider-Man, or some stupid contrived bullcrap like that. Just because a movie is about Spider-Man doesn't mean it's good. Half of the movies about this character are objectively awful, and you stupid comic fans know it. Speaking of comic fans, there are quite a few individuals who base their enjoyment of a movie on the accuracy to the comic. They give a garbage movie a pass because it references something that happened in a 30-year-old graphic novel, and they despise movies that aren't 100% accurate to their favorite comic book. That would be absolutely absurd, especially since there are some things you can only do in comics and would be retarded in film, like Deadpool's romance with death, really? You don't like Deadpool because it doesn't have that? Well then, I'm sorry, but you're a moron. 